This was a paradise garden of vines, ornamental wildlife and palms. NATO turned it into a storm of high explosive and flying concrete. The Alliance described this five-acre compound as a high-level command and control node which coordinated attacks on the Libyan people. The Libyan government insists otherwise. We believe the reasoning and the logic behind this, which is of course a criminal logic, is to intimidate us, break our spirit, make Libyan people afraid of NATO and make them wish for a quick end, any end, to this conflict at any price. Musa Ibrahim is probably right. There is an element of intimidation about this attack because this compound was inhabited by Kaweldi al-Hamidi, one of the original five men who came to power with Gaddafi in 1969 and remains his right-hand man. And it is clearly part of NATO's strategy here to terrify the leadership of Libya. Al-Hamidi is believed to have been in the compound. He narrowly escaped from his lavish home. The only building spared a direct hit. Gaddafi put him in charge of tribal relations. Food and water had been stockpiled here, enough pasta to feed a small army. Military units from this area were used in the brutal suppression of the March uprising in Zawiya. NATO has identified al Hamedi, a member of the ruling Revolutionary Council, as a key part of Gaddafi's system of oppression. But 15 people died here. 20 more were injured, four of them critically. Mostly part of the extended family, the dead included at least two children. What do you think of NATO now? It's very bad now. There is, there is uh, not military, there is baby. Why to NATO to, to bomb this? Why? Mohammed Bashir is six. He has a chest and head wound. NATO will find it hard to explain why he should pay for the sins of Libya's fathers.